Uh, Ford and General Motors posted earnings today that show two automakers on two very different paths. For GM, the ignition switch recall crisis is a drag on the bottom line, while at Ford, business has never been better in the U.S. Phil LeBeau has more. Despite a rough spring filled with recalls, congressional hearings, and federal investigations, General Motors turned a small profit in the second quarter. Officially, GM's earnings were a penny below estimates. If you exclude the impact of recall campaigns that we booked in the second quarter, our earnings on a year-over-year -year basis were up 20 percent with margins of about 9.2 percent. GM did take big charges in the quarter to handle recalls of millions of vehicles, including many with faulty ignition switches. One of them, for $400 million, covers a compensation fund run by attorney Ken Feinberg. That fund will settle claims for dozens who were injured or killed in defective GM models. The $400 million estimate that we took in the second quarter is our best estimate based on the data that's available to us and using outside experts and outside actuaries to evaluate a range of potential outcomes. Meanwhile, at Ford, steady business in the showroom drove the company to its most profitable quarter ever in North America bringing in $2.4 billion. That helped Ford beat analyst estimates. But the good news also extended to Europe, where Ford's ongoing efforts to cut losses finally paid off with the first quarterly profit in Europe since 2011. The quarter uh, profit, even though it was relatively small, as you said, it was, uh, it's, it's a signal that we're definitely on the right track and, uh, and, and we're definitely going to deliver that profit in 2015. So everybody was extremely excited by that inside of Ford. Ford's new CEO, Mark Field, says he won't be altering the one Ford game plan used by Alan Mulally to turn around the automaker over the last eight years. And that's music to the ears of Ford shareholders, who today briefly pushed the stock above $18 a share for the first time in three years. Phil LeBeau, Nightly Business Report, Chicago.